Hello lovely people! Welcome to Reacting to Our Teenage Photos. Whoa. It's a follow-up to reacting to our childhood photos. You know what, I don't know if there's enough teenage photos of me. It's like they're all packed away, hidden in the deepest, darkest corners of the attic. Yeah, I should probably also mention that the latter part of my teenage years, I was really, really thin, and then I destroyed all the evidence of that. Mine are mainly like cute childhood pictures, because they're like albums that my mum made, and it's like, oh, how cute you were. There's you no awkward stage. No, no, I definitely had an awkward stage. So hi, if you don't know, I'm Jessica, this is Claudia. We're married. If you enjoy awesome lesbians, you should subscribe because lesbians are awesome. And we like to class ourselves as that, clearly. Awesome lesbians? Yeah. Who doesn't want to class themselves as an awesome lesbian? So we're classifying teenage as 12 or 13. Because I feel like at 12 you start doing teenage things. I'm going to start with what I looked like when I was, this is when I was 12. Sweet. Here I am with my daddy dancing. Uh, and as you can see, I had very long blonde hair back in the day. Yeah. Yes, but... yes, I actually have blonde hair. I still do. You it's look pretty sleepy in that picture. <laughs> I look sleepy. Are you sleepy or is that just your eyes? I mean, they're not huge now. <laughs> Maybe you were sleepy, but it is night time, look. It is night time. This, I think, is Christmas at my grandparents. <laughs> my family love a good boogie. Okay, show me your youngest from your oh. pile. <laughs> My sister's kind of portrayed in this one worse than I am, but it's uh, that's me in the middle with the sunglasses on. Oak leaves, in fact. Oh, hello. I think uh. she had just got sand blown into her eyes. <laughs> So, yeah. You look cool though. I mean, what's this quiff? It looks like you have some kind of cool 1950s quiff though. That's pretty, pretty fancy. <laughs> yeah. Pretty fancy. I love those Oakley sunglasses. I remember I had to save up for them myself. Oh. They were like dark brown and they were like 200 pounds. And in like those days. How old were you? 12, 13. So I basically saved up all my birthday and Christmas money. My dad would be like, oh, you can wash the car for a fiver kind of thing, and I just saved up. But do you know what? I still have those glasses because they're obviously really well made. I think when I was that age, if I found a fiver, I would take it to the bank and make the bank put it in my account. Mm. Like, sir, please. My next one is in the phase where I decided I was going to be cool. <laughs> how, how easy life cool. would be. <laughs> cool like other people. <laughs> this is the early noughties, clearly. I'm wearing double denim. Yeah. 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 I'm also wearing to be fair, jeans. I wore double denim like the I'm other night. shocked. Yes, but you actually looked good. So my little cousin. He's like much cooler than you right there. <laughs> he knows he is. Yeah, he's like he's like, I'm I'm not in double denim, so my life's going well so far. I this was like a skater phase. Right. Because everyone in my school was a skater. I think I hero worship. You are wearing living. jeans. At this point, I know. You've got a little bit of bling, there's some gold buttons. A little gold bit on your jeans there, like, you know, yes. you're still trying to keep it girly. Also, it had these big shiny buttons yeah, I was like, on. Yeah, I just noticed. Yeah, yeah so, uh, I, yeah, mm. it was as much me as I could make it. Moving on to my next bling accessories. Great grimace here from me. This is when everyone wanted straight hair. Uh, I wore, like, bangles and earrings. The, the most pressing question what? is, what happened to your head? What has happened to the shape of your head, Claudia Vaillard? That is true. I've what got is... a lot of hair because I've had it chemically straightened there, <laughs> but I've got so much of it. I've still somehow got body. There's, like, there's none of it left at the bottom. <laughs> because that's where it's straight and then obviously where it's growing up the top of my head, I've still got some body coming It's up. like, damn you, no, I will be curly. <laughs> yep. Oh, it tried. Like, it I felt, tried I remember so when I dressed hard. like that though, I felt quite comfortable with myself because yeah. I was like okay like I was wearing combat so I was wearing a little tank top so I was like the girly like all saints and stuff like that yes were fashionable yes but they weren't trying to be a gay identity figure or anything no like that. girls went like tomboy tomboy <laughs> combat I was trying to get like combat trousers and tomboy. yeah 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 period suited me just fine <laughs> and and then that got taken away from me. yeah okay my next one is the awkward phase Okay. Okay. It's not, it's not great. I don't even know what this outfit is. I just know that the front panel zipped entirely off and I once wore it to a party and a girl came up <laughs> and took either side of the zips and just went Oh my God. I was not, I'm getting hot now thinking about it. I was not wearing much underneath and by much, I mean a bra. No, I was wearing pants. I just wasn't wearing a bra. Oh, you weren't wearing a bra? No, and then she zipped the front panel of my dress off so it became a coat. There were lots of like zipped up clothing. Yes. Like it was really weird. And I think my hair's meant to just be like, 
like stylish or something. Yeah, to be fair, it would have been very tempting to unzip that. <laughs> and also, you don't even have enough material to close the coat. <laughs> it's just like, no, boom. no, that's the thing. So if someone takes the front panel, you're just like, um, I tried, Lord, I tried. I've played golf. I started learning when I was 12 mm -hmm. with my mom and her friend. Mm -hmm. They were like, we're gonna start playing golf so we can play with our husbands, why not? And then um, they like were like, you come along with this. And I was like, okay. And then I was like, naturally quite good at it. Mm -hmm. So I liked it because I was good at it. But it was a bit boring because I had to just play with boys all the time. Yeah, and they always put me <laughs> with like the older boys because- She was too good. Anyway, that was that. I still play golf sometimes. We have a lot of clubs downstairs if you want to go and take them out. I know, I just don't have any golfing buddies, apart from my dad. Oh. <laughs> Submit your resume below to become <laughs> Claudia's golfing buddy. I Thanks. asked people at work and they were like, no, it's boring. I was like, oh. Oh, <laughs> but now you have badminton buddies yeah, at work. That is true, that is true. This is when I had always hated my straight hair, always. And I like slept with it in buns. No, it's so funny, cow. I hated my curly hair and wanted straight hair and yeah. And I thought the best way to get around that would be to perm it. That's my That's perm That's a really hair. bad perm. It looks like you just come out of the <laughs> sea. Thanks. You're like an Australian surfer is more the look there. Yeah, I was aiming for 1950s and I got what the hell 70s. You look nice though. Oh, thank you. You've got you. way more eyebrow there. Have you drawn them on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> For those who don't know, I don't have yeah. eyebrows. This is a lie. I don't think I'm wearing any other makeup. Oh. Just, I just purely drew on my eyebrows. Oh. My next attempt at curling my hair, I did get better at it. Oh, I yes. just want to show. Yeah, this more. is like, this is a year later. I saw in a local message board, by which I mean a literal notice board that was made of cork and people pinned things to, mm -hmm. not the online version, that someone was selling their mother's heated rollers from the 50s. And I was like, I've got to get them. Oh. These things were no longer legal to be sold. They're very dangerous. So I would heat them up with this plug that occasionally sparked. The little device itself got so hot, it burnt a ring in my carpet. Yeah, this is why they're not legal. <laughs> this is why it's not legal. And I'd put them in my hair and then I would sleep with them overnight. Yeah. And they were solid. Like you wonder now how I sleep with foam rollers in. These were solid blocks of wax in my head. Good. But I did it for the look. I was dedicated. And then you decided to pair it with those sunglasses. They were the only sunglasses I had, okay. I think this is probably next. I think I was trying to find a happy medium. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing is, though. Is it? It's like I'm are wearing like a chart. Are those I'm wearing shorts like, or a skirt? No, that's a skirt. I see. But I'm I'm having it slung around my hips to be yes. cool. I've got a leather slouchy bag, which rather than a handbag. Is that an added belt? But then I've got like a studded like grey t-shirt, which is quite like you know butch. Yeah, and then I've tied my hair up. I'm not wearing any makeup. Standing in quite a butch way. <laughs> And I've got Are the you wearing most like men's flip flops. Yeah, <laughs> and like leather sandals, which were my favourite sandals. They were so comfy. That was before Birkenstocks. What is the bag big. as well? That's a leather like satchel. Uh huh. Yeah. So yeah, I know. Kind of like yeah. trying to do my own thing there. I, I get I get where you were going. Yeah. Sure, sure. My next photo involves your second favourite. It's Walter. Oh, oh look at him! Such He's a tiny, so tiny. baby. Yeah, that is the very first day, actually, that we had him. Oh, I know. We should definitely get another Bichon. <laughs> I know, we're quite in love with Bichon. Um, I'd just like to point out as well, those, I'm not like wearing weird wrist things or some kind of fashion statement. I paralyzed my arms and my hands. You got a lot of body in your hair. It's not really curly, um, but it's I like- No, I kind of just frizzled my hair. But you kind of just... Using the heated <laughs> hot wax rollers. <laughs> Don't use hot <laughs> wax rollers. Don't use heat in your hair. Well, That's my yeah. advice. So this one is like, I'm a bit older. I've decided, I don't know. I look pretty happy in that picture to be fair. I actually really liked that top. Oh, it's a top. Yeah, it's a top and a skirt. Like, it was quite like, it had like a sequin, sequin y bit. Ooh. But yeah, I've embraced my curly hair by that point yeah. as well. Got you rid of, cute. got rid of all the bangles. <laughs> <laughs> Still not wearing that much makeup. I really should have drawn eyebrows on. I've got some really. Oh, awful... you're wearing eyeshadow. I know, I'm wearing orange I eyeshadow. It. I know. Orange eyeshadow, shiny red lip gloss. It was no the No eyebrows. I'm not judging. Look, I'm this just saying. Is, what does it say? 2005. Oh. 
Yeah. This is the transformation in my hair. But um, I think I look like a drag queen. We both this have is not my choice. No, yeah, we both have professional shoes so we're just like, who is that person? <laughs> yeah, so I was uh, I was on a show called Britain's Missing Top Model. Which was, was your about... hair that short? They cut it in the show. Oh no! Yeah, so I had this blonde hair down to here. I bet you were so sad. Well, I just rolled with it. Okay. Really, because by the time there were five of us left, we were all five blonde. Oh. And then we went to like a hair salon. We're not all walking out of here blonde. And they wanted me to have red hair and two of the other girls to have brown. And the other two girls did that classic America's Next Top Model thing, threw a fit and were like, no, I refuse. You can't touch my hair. You can't do anything to it. You can take half an inch and that's it. Whereas you were like, whatever no. friends, let's go. Oh. And so they just chopped my hair off to here. Mm -hmm. Dyed it red. And dyed it red. And I was like, sure. And you were like, I like it. Red suits me. Cool. Ooh. Yeah. And then we had to do this amazing photo shoot, which was hideous. Because what is this makeup? Oh my goodness. It makes you look very old. Yeah, they really aged me up. So what's with the whole like hidden eye thing? I guess that was all the rage, like, you know, Gabriel. Uh, yes! <laughs> yeah. No, they cut my hair so that it just like Covered fell over eye. half of my face. It's quite emo as well, isn't I it? I mean, fair, I can't actually... No, I could at this point. I could still see out of this eye. <laughs> oh, right. So they were just covering it up for fun. <laughs> they were like, you need practice. Like, you just you don't even... know what's coming for you. <laughs> Blindness will come to you. <laughs> but I'm going to find all the photos from Britain Blessing Top Model. People have kind of asked me to make a video about it and my experience. Yeah. But um, I still find it quite traumatic I still, I've still never, about. I've still never watched an episode. No, it wasn't a great time. Isn't really, that was not really respectful of me? When we were first dating, well, you told me that you were on the show and I still never looked up and watched it. Because you were like, oh, it really portrays me in a bad way and I, I'm like really embarrassed about it and I don't really like people watching it. So I thought, well, I'm not gonna watch it. <laughs> so I wanted to find out about you, how you wanted to present yourself, which is what is quite dangerous about online presence. True, because, don't stalk people you fancy yeah, online. Or like Google them, you know, sometimes, well actually maybe you should Google, well, I think sometimes it's good to just check. Just like Google their name <laughs> yeah, and then, then merger. That's it. <laughs> if nothing pops up, you're good, you can leave it. <laughs> okay, I went to one extreme. It's probably one of the few times you'll see me in a tiara. <laughs> <laughs> true, true And that. I got my hair straight. Um, you don't look best pleased about it though. No, probably because I was starting to feel not very comfortable in this like forced way I was trying to make myself look like. Yeah. I straightened my hair. Like I remember my mum saying like, your hair's so nice as it is natural. Why do you want to straighten it? And I was like. Look at this. She does nothing to this and it's so gorgeous. Yeah, I guess I just wanted to like fit in. But actually it's better to be unique. It Jessica was is. desperately trying to be unique, like putting like heated wax rollers in her hair. And I'm like, I want to fit in. But you know what? That's because you were out of the closet and Ooh. I was in the closet. So okay. maybe that has something to do with it. Sure. Okay, people watching, do you feel like you're fashion... Were you more of a conformist or not? Yeah, is your fashion conformist or no? Yeah. Okay, here's another, just another picture I threw in with Walter! Aww. Look at him! Because we both look so young. He does, <laughs> yeah. So I, I wanted to include that, because... Look your at him! Your legs look nice in that picture. Oh, thanks, baby. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, look at him, he's such a little cutie. Um, and if you thought my legs should look good in that one, ready for an embarrassing modelling photo? That's nice. You're just getting nice pictures out of these. None of these are this awkward. Is, I find this photo really weird, but thanks. I mean, it doesn't really look like you, does it? Yes, we want to yes. talk about model shoots and when oh, they yes. look like you. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? I'm so happy for this. Um, I basically took wow. my friends to one of those, like, do you want to, like, get a photo shoot? Like, Who um, even is this so girl? I took my friend for her birthday and both of us did, like, a photo shoot. And I just felt so awkward doing it. Who is this? And they did my hair and makeup. To be fair, I like the way they did my hair, but my makeup, it doesn't even look like me. They just accentuated my Chinese-ness, which is fine, but like, I don't do my makeup like that. Even my mum afterwards was like, they're nice that you have some professional photos, but it doesn't really look like you. They really made you look Chinese, didn't yeah. they? Yeah, but I chose some good outfits. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> say you look comfortable. That's not a word I do. I just remember the, the photographer like, okay, sit like this. She was actually very good at her job. She could tell I was feeling super awkward and she was just like, This is the best one! <laughs> oh, yes. Hi, here is my professional shoot. I am willing to read the news at 10. <laughs> this is so good. Oh. Should do another professional photo shoot. We do. We do that. <laughs> I know, but one Sorry, day. do you mean like in a studio where people do your makeup yeah, yeah, and yeah. hair yeah, yeah, and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I had my makeup done the other day because I was going to be on the news. Sky News. I don't know, coming out whenever. And she drew my eyebrows. 
It weren't my eyebrows. I was this like, always <laughs> happens, darling. It's also because obviously they don't know where I want the eyebrows to go because there's nothing. She was like, oh, but she, they always make the newsreaders look so nice with their makeup. And I'm like, yeah, you have a specific vintage style makeup. Anyone can make your face look nice, but is it to how their you? Version. Yeah, but is it what you like to look like? Thank you for joining us on this whirlwind of emotion. If you've enjoyed this video, please do subscribe, hit the like button, share it with your friends, maybe join the Kelgan Frozard Club. That's a cool club where you get to see behind the scenes stuff. Well That's said, cool. Jessica. Thank you, Claudia. Lovely. Goodbye, catch you next time. And three, two, one, off air.